Now then, this is the, uh, well I'm not quite sure what it is because the handle's throwing me. It's not a 380CD handle, it might be a very early saw. Um, I know it's 77ccs because of the, if you look into the, there's two piston rings so I'm nearly sure that it's got a um, 52mm piston. Uh, I'm sure you can all take the covers off um, and whatever. The top covers are showing the top for a 380CD but it's a different colour to the rest of the saw so it might have been put on at a later date. Um, we'll have a look when we look underneath the... Um, let me just check it and see. Under the flywheel just uh, loosen the nut off a little bit, a bit of a punch, make sure there's no shoulders on the edge here because it'll catch the threads and just so that you can give it a couple of, don't be afraid, you won't break anything, well don't come to me if you do, there we go, um, can it, uh, that should tell us something, I've seen this set up before, the uh, electronics, but I'm still none the wiser as to what it's. Um, it's not a 65, and it's not a 263. I don't think. No, it's definitely not a 263 because. I'll show you this in a minute. Barrel number, if I can get it into focus for you, down there, there it is, it's, um, it's the Marla number, 2ZN, 2ZN1 I think, but that's the Marla number for the 380. CD, but the sometimes, um, well, I don't know, I don't know about the sometimes. What, oh, what we'll do next is we'll take off the electronics if we can. Um, we need a, a small Phillips, a smallish Phillips. Under the cover. Enjoy the 1100 SCD as far as it's got. Hopefully, by the time you're watching this, there's five of these screws. The 1100 would have stoked up. Don't get offering me any money, I'll never sell it. I need to saw more than the money. There, there are not, not many of them about. But I don't know who puts these in. Or whether I'm just too old for screwing. Put some some little hex head screws in, and it goes back. Does these little soft headed I'll probably think that the, the screwdriver's too big. They've all gone, man. Mm. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't 
continue with this one. My carpal's tunnel's getting better. If you've been following my vids, I've gone on to the glycosamine and fish oil tablets. It seems to get rid of the stiffness. That's a better, easier one. I believe this is a Sunday morning. This is my, my therapy. That's a, that's a bad one. Once you lose the head on them, you're in quick. I'm going to have to say Bunny Street now. You're not allowed to say the other one. Hey. But any state of repairs the world's getting into. Right, that's those five out. Now we've got a... Remove Bloody Mora. Hey, who puts them in? Or am I just getting old and weak? Blah, gosh. One. Look at their little four mil screws. I'm out of breath. Must be because I'm. Oh man! I don't want to lose the head. If I lose the head, I'm well shot. Should we try the little tap tap just to <laughs> shock the threads? Ah, oh, it's gone. Good idea. She's coming. This is one. You still get the coils for these. I sent for one. It was advertised as a coil for the 380 Chinese, which everything is these days. Um, but it was the wrong orientation, and it was nothing like what it should be, anyway. Plastic cover. Uh, and the coil here, this was the exact replica of, um, of this one. Uh, so you can get them. And under here, it's actually points driven. So I think I ought to show you that. Which will give an indication as to what, oh man, what model it is. Oh. I think they're putting with a windy gun to about 100 newton meters. I wonder if they don't snap. Because the faces of the points, I don't know whether you can still get them, I've not located them yet. <laughs> um, I don't want to break anything. There's the points, look. Can you see them? A good spring on them, but they'd have to be for them to whiz around it. Open and shut up. Eight and a half thousand RPM or whatever. Oh, this one's even got the felt pad on. My last one didn't, which you need to keep a little bit moist. Um, 
so we're going to put that put these bits in the box and the screw in the next step we need to take the carburetor off so as we can get the wires out and that requires a Check that we're still going. Putting it too far back, aren't I? And right. Oh, these are loose. Ah, somebody's been having a look at it. See if we could repair it. To no avail. Lost it. That's the top, so we'll keep that and we'll put it back on. I should have kept that screw back to put back in. Right, little pair of pliers. Regular viewers. My 21 subscribers, come on, we can do better than that, surely. There's a lot of people looking. There you go. And if we can just undo this, it'll be welded on. Normally, with look at it, the bloody soft and rotten. It's this uh, ethanol, ethanol in the uh, fuel. And normally you find if they stood around the uh, the filter inside the fuel tank gas tank if you're over the waters um, get the little plastic guide thing off the fuel tank filter is normally just rotted off this might tell us something if oh, hang on choke lever. Somebody'll have put the put a really monstrous uh, crocodile clip in it. As though it's gonna come off. It's a bit of twisted wire. It's a bit of twisted wire. Which it doesn't want to untwist. it off and put something else in at the later stage and put it back together Oh, 
we go. This is why your bills are big. I've only going to the repair shop. Because you can't get a nut, a nut and bolt undone. So you have to pay for the time. You wouldn't at my workshop. Well, I ain't got one now. A piece of fence wire just to hold a little epoxy whenever it is in. And be a little bit careful because we don't want to break off the end of the choke lever, you can't get them like everything else. Ah, that's half of it. Ah, success. You see the little end, you don't want to break that off. We've got no way of securing it. And there's a little washer on the back. Yeah. Now, and what's it now? We should be able to tell. What model this is, more what Carver S is on it. It should be a, possibly a, a HS160 something. And this is a, ah, anybody know how that comes off? HS 89A. Obviously it's a Tillotson. So you let me know. Don't lose that little angle thing. $10. switch and that should now pull through there but it's not going to so we'll unscrew the HT lead. I've checked the spark it's got a bigger spark than a set of fairy lights on a Christmas tree so there's nothing wrong with the points or whatever that I mentioned earlier but we can always give them a little there's a rubber grommet in here usually is it? Let's have a... That's not going to come out of there until we can get the, the head off, which we'll need to, uh, I think we'll, um, right, switch off for a minute.